Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to access the online practice for Headway Plus Special Edition for uh, EHS, EBA, EST, and ECE002. Okay, uh, this is the website that you're going to be using to access the online practice. Uh, and do you know, uh, we have made, uh, the unit has made uh, the accounts has created the accounts for you as teachers and we're going to send you the emails uh, with uh, the login information. Okay, uh, this is like an example of, uh, you know, the information that you're going to receive by email. Of course, this is the website and uh, you have the code. For example, here we have EBA as an example. The campus is uh, Tabuk or other satellite campuses like Haqqal and Umlod. The group is, the group number is, appears here. And then you have email. Email, the email is, you, you can use it to, uh, to log in. And it is uh, here, it's uh, called email. On the website, it's the past username. Username, email are the same. So use email is the username. The password, you have it like this, and you have a class code. Okay, for the, use, for the email, which is the username and the password, these are for you as a teacher, okay? These are confidential, and this is supposed to be for you only, okay? So please don't share your, the email and the password with your students, these are for you only, okay? The class code is, uh, the code that your students need to use to join your class. So please give them the class code so they can join your class. Uh, <clears throat> I have made a tutorial for the students on how to create an account and how to join a class. So it's, 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 uh, the tutorial uh, is explained in Arabic. So that you don't have to worry about anything. Everything is mentioned in the tutorial. The only thing that you need to share with the students is the class code. Okay. Again, username and password are for you as a teacher. Don't share them with your students. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to log in now. So I'm using control C uh, for copy. I'm going to this website and control V for Paste. If you want, you can right click and use copy paste <coughs> as a teacher. If you're not comfortable with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, like this, copy and then paste. Okay, now I'm gonna click on sign in. Before I sign in, I click on sign in, there is something very important I need to mention. These accounts. These accounts that we create, well, we have created, uh, okay, <clears throat> they can uh, show you the uh, content for uh, the class that you're teaching, whether it's uh, pre intermediate or elementary. Okay, so be careful when you enter the information, like when you type in your uh, username and password. If you want to type in the username and password manually, no problem, but be careful, okay? You ha they have to be, for example, like some of you might have, the, you, mis you mistype, for example, instead of B, you may enter like S, okay? Then you won't be able to log in. So the information will has to be <coughs> completely accurate. Okay, why I'm mentioning this? Because if you try and sign in and you couldn't sign in, or you cannot sign in more than twice or three times the account will be blocked and there is no way and it's impossible for us to retrieve the account so please be careful when you enter or type in the username and password okay so let's assume Normally, you'll be able to sign in seemingly without any problem, okay? But let's assume with, let's say, one teacher with specific, with, with, uh, with one case, you enter the username 
or password by mistake the first time the second time and you know you try for the first time and the second time and you cannot sign in they give you for example the information uh, you know you say like you cannot sign in please stop the first okay you cannot sign in from the first and the second attempt please stop do not try to sign in anymore and report the issue to your coordinator okay the coordinator will communicate with the unit and the unit will try and uh, solve the problem for you okay so enter the information carefully as you receive them and then click on sign in wait click on sign in wait for a couple of seconds and then you'll be able to access the account the next thing you need to do is click on the uh, the class here as you can see this one here M 111 EBA I don't know in your case it depends on uh, the the class uh, name okay in my case I'm gonna click on this one and next to it there's an arrow so to uh, how can you know where to click click on this one the next to it there is an arrow click on it and this is the content as you can see here there is this lock uh, sign okay you need to make sure that all the units are visible to your students how can you do that for example let me go to unit 8 for example you can do this to all uh, uh, units all the units but for me let me go to unit 8 okay and then I click on the sign the lock sign as you can see here these two they have these are disabled okay make sure they are enabled they are activated enabled okay make this one it becomes green and this one becomes green as well okay and after that click on save okay now it's visible to your students okay please do the same with all the units except for the ones that are not included uh that are uh let's say can that have been cancelled okay uh and i think they are 11 12 13 and 14 please uh, please double check with your coordinator with uh which uh units they have been cancelled and they are 12 13 and 14 anyway again so make all the units visible to your students from one through number 12 uh, through 11 again from one through 11 okay these are the units that you need to make visible okay and after that uh you know give uh, the class code to your students and they can join okay i'm um, uh, okay please share the video the tutorial for the students to show them how to create an account and how to join a class and whatever okay uh home you go back to what aoc if you want to see uh, the 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 class code you can click on edit and here you'll find the class code okay and as you can see zero students have logged in and joined the class uh, here will appear the number of the students that you know join your class and as you can see this is the class code that's everything i have uh, to explain in this video and thank you very much for your uh, time watching this video okay you can sign in from here or sign out sorry okay thank you for watching